Hello, I'm Chaplain Vanessa Polk, and I'm glad to have you guys tuning in with us again today. Today's meditational focus word is circles. Circles. A few weeks ago, I was feeling a bit out of sorts. Uh, I couldn't quite put my finger on the reason why, though. One task after another was becoming like kryptonite rather than productive purpose. Getting the simplest thing done has started to sap my energy, started to steal my passion and, and to dim my focus. It was beginning to feel like I wasn't giving due diligence to anything that I touched. My once tempered and reverent whispered prayers were beginning to be wailed out and groaned rather than allowing sacred silence to help center my thoughts and to help me refocus my energy, I allowed myself to be dragged around in circles, circle after circle, becoming too preoccupied with the task particulars instead of the purposed passion for the task and for the job I felt called to do. Ouch, that didn't feel really good. It's my understanding that the Hebrew meaning for the word distracted literally means to be dragged around in circles. Consumed by my work and other responsibility, I was being dragged around from one thing to another. In the words of this old school group called the Friends of Distinction, they had a song that said, you've got me going around in circles and I'm like a spinning top ever moving around and around and around until I drop. That's exactly how I was feeling, going around, spinning around in circles. Now, there's nothing wrong with hard work. However, we must not allow our extensive to-do lists to overshadow the importance of our to-be lists to be still, to give ourselves permission to pause, to breathe, to silence the chaos around us. Sometimes we can become just a bit sidetracked. A lot of chores to get done and projects seem to interfere and interrupt our quiet time with ourselves and with the holy. Yes, we absolutely must use the strength of our talents and our abilities to fulfill our obligations, to improve the health and wellness and the well-being of Eastern North Carolina. Yet at the same time, we must be careful not to become so consumed by our work that we are robbed of the life-sustaining experiences of stillness quietness, silence, and the sacred presence that shows up in ordinary spaces. Question for you today is, are you being dragged around in circles? Have you become too distracted to even notice the sacred presence of things that are so ordinary? Every day, the sacred shows up in our home, on our job, walking in the halls of Vitan Health, in the food line, in Walmart. Wherever we find ourselves, the sacred shows up. Yet, too often we've been guilty of being so emerged in specifics that we have missed the spectacular. Stop. Take a deep breath. Relax. Be still. Look around. Today, May you be graced with the willingness to stop yourself 
from being dragged around in circles. May you be graced with the wisdom to sit, to be silent, to sense the sacredness in you and to see sacredness within the ordinary things around you. Thanks again for sharing this moment with us.